This is Villa View. Coming up, Shea Given vows to make the most of his five-year contract, and we have the latest on Villa's search for a new winger. Hello and welcome to Villa View. I'm Paul Bradley and I'm joined in our Fort Dunlop studio by Aston Villa correspondent Matt Kendrick. Hi Matt. Hello there. Well you met Shay Given for the first time. Um, what do you make of him and what was the mood when you when you met him? Um, he seemed, seemed a really, really good guy. Um, spoke in glowing terms about the football club he's just joined. Uh, spoke in glowing terms about the manager. Um, and he, he seems as if he, he really wants to make the most of this. He's been given a, a five-year contract, which for a 35-year-old is perhaps unprecedented. But um, we all know that goalkeepers um, improve with age. Um, and obviously Brad Fiedler was 40 um, when he left in the summer. So, yeah, he, he's been... Probably had his nose put out of joint really for the last year at Manchester City. He was used to being the main man there, lost his place to Joe Hart, spent the season watching from the sidelines. So I think he's anxious to make up for lost time now. Um, he spoke, interestingly, when we spoke to him yesterday, he was talking about not only seeing out this five year contract and doing it quite successfully, but looking beyond that, uh, mentioned Dino Zoff, who I think played in, played into his 40s uh, and likes to, would, like to, would like to emulate that. So um, I think. Villa have waited long, a long time for, for the, the first signing, or it seems like a long time. It's not actually been that long, but there's been a lot of build-up to it. And I think Shea Given is, is a kind of top-quality player, and um, I, th- I don't think too many Villa fans can be disappointed now that that piece of business has been done. And what about Charles and Zogbia? It's been a week now since Aston Villa have officially expressed their interest in him. Villa fans are getting a little bit frustrated about this £9 million offer and the, the £10 million that Wigan wants. Where do we stand at, at the moment? I think it's still a standoff between the two clubs at the moment. It's kind of who blinks first. It's um, Dave Williams quoted as saying, nine million is not enough. I want ten million. Um, it's Villa's understanding that, and Zogby has been told he can leave for nine. So it's, <laughs> I suppose it's easy to say it's only a million pound. Get it done. I mean, it's easy to say that with somebody else's money. Um, I think Villa Villa are prepared to kind of brave it out for a little longer. I don't, I, I think they're convinced that they're the only ones seriously in the hunt for Enzogbia, um, seriously willing to pay anything near nine million and to commit to his wages. Um, so I think they're going to hope that, that Dave Whelan, who has previously admitted that Enzogbia does need to be sold, they're going to hope that that he kind of he gives him first. Um, I personally think that that this is an, this is an important deal for Villa Villa to do. Um, this talk of alternative alternative wingers like the likes of Aidan McGeady and Sean Wright Phillips. Now I don't think that, that they're quite of the, of the level of um, Charles and Zogbia. So let's just hope, hope that a compromise can be reached sooner rather than later and, and ideally he can be on that plane to join Villa's tour of Hong Kong on Saturday. And what about other signings? Is there anyone else in the, in the, kind of in the pipeline? Well, Alex McLeish came out and said during the Shea Given press conference that, that now given signed Charles and Zogbia or a another winger will be the last kind of major big name, big money signing. Um, I don't think that necessarily means there won't be any more arrivals at Bodymore Heath during this summer. I think it means that, that McLeish may have to kind of look in the bargain basement, perhaps do a bit of wheeling and dealing. Um, he's probably got a couple of million pounds to spend, um, especially if Carlos Quay leaves. Um, and I believe he's got two, two and a half million pounds that were set aside for, for the Michael Bradley deal that didn't happen. So there is, there's a little bit of leeway there. I don't think Villa fans should be too doom and gloom that there won't be anybody else coming in. Um, there may not be, but I think there's scope to, to do a little bit of um, a little bit of manoeuvring if, if the manager so wishes. OK, and just briefly, can you put into context how important these upcoming pre-season friendlies are for Villa? They've got Walsall first of all and then the Tour of Hong Kong. How important is that for Villa and for Alex McLeish? Well, the Walsall one, interestingly, is going to be kind of Alex McLeish's first, the first time he faces the Villa fans publicly, isn't it, really? Um, so it'd be interesting to see whether this kind of support, you know, whether he gets any grief or whether there's whether there's indifference. Um, I think it might be a combination of all three, depending on depending on what what fans now think about his appointment. Um, I'm told that that Villa are going to play a strong team. Shea Given's going to make his Villa debut in that game at Warsaw tomorrow night, uh, and I think it may be a case of seeing one team in the first half and a completely separate team in the second half as the manager tries to get as many of the, the squad um, 
to, to get, get some football. Um, then, yeah, hot on the heels of that, he's, he's sat at his trip to Hong Kong. Um, they're there for nine days, I believe, but um, only two games. But again, it's it's a good chance for, for McLeish to really get his ideas across to the squad. Um, he's already said that he's trying to keep faith in most of the players he's got. So now it's time for them to show show whether they, they're worthy of that faith. Um, again, it's, it's fitness, isn't it? It's making sure that, that Villa are kind of match ready come come August the 13th. So I think it promises to be um, promises to be promises to be an interesting fortnight, really, in, in terms of Villa's development for the new season. OK, Matt, well, thanks for that. And, of course, you'll be in Hong Kong following that Villa tour. And you can catch up on that on www.birminghammail.net. We'll see you again soon for more Villa View.